brought down in. Not, not now. No, no, I'm just saying, uh, After, thanks, to, thanks to you, uh, I have grown a lot under your feet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. That's all thank I want you. to say. Yeah, well, you did good. You did good. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for you. I, I wanted to uh, say this because uh, even this morning as we walked in the door, we came in complaining because folks put bottles in them, which way in. Uh, paper on the floor and, and uh, just one thing after another and the enemy can get us into an attitude of, uh, of, of, of complaining and mm -hmm. murmuring and we had the Sunday school lesson this morning and the other guys were brought it out and how the children of Israel just grumbled and complained and moaned and they, they, they weren't satisfied with nothing mm -hmm. and, and they began to go back into when they used to have the onions and the leeks and the melons and the fish, mm -hmm. and they went back on what they had and tried to, it was a bad time for them being in bondage, but they tried to make it seem like it was a good time. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, it ain't, it ain't good where what used to be mm -hmm. is no good no more. Mm -hmm. What used to be is not good anymore for you. We, we got to learn here in verse number 11 uh, Paul talks about how he's learned to be content. Learn. Come on, say, I've learned. I've learned. We have to learn. You know what? how you learn? Learn and come from suffering. You have to have experienced it. Not just taught. You was learned. You learned that. You learn it. I, my mother told me once, don't stick your, your bed into the stove because it's hot. Mm -hmm. I, 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 listen, she was teaching me, uh -huh. but I hadn't learned it yet. <laughs> but when I touched my stomach to that red hot stove, I learned. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 learning is that, that sticks to you after you have experienced it. And Paul said, I have learned to, uh, that in whatsoever state that I am, there will to be content. Mm -hmm. we're, 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 we're so used to getting our way mm -hmm. that we, we're not contented with things, you know. Even in marriage, sometimes if, if it ain't just like I want it, if, if, I, if you don't do just like I said do, or uh, if you, you act this way or that way, you, you have to learn to be content and not to, to learn to be happy with where you are mm -hmm. and what you got. It's not because of the circumstances. It's because of God. Mm -hmm. right. It's because of God. Hallelujah. Come on, mm -hmm. praise God. It's because of God. God is the reason why we are happy. It's mm -hmm. Christ Jesus that's why we are happy. And Paul said, I have learned the secret to being content. See, the secret is something that a lot of people don't know that is kept away. Why? The world don't know it because they can't understand how you can be content with what you're going through. Mm -hmm. How can you be so happy when you got trouble all around you? How can you be content when things are not with the where you want them to be? And the world wants things to be just like they want it to be. And if it's not there, you can't get it. Uh, uh, they said, uh, I, I know that Otis Red came out with I can't get no satisfaction. The Beatles came back and redid it again in 1965. I can't get no satisfaction. Why is it? It's because the human mind and heart cannot be satisfied without God. Amen. You got to have God. Come on, praise yes, God. God. You got to have God to be satisfied. That's the secret to being content. You want to be mm -hmm. content? Keep God with you. Mm -hmm. Be on God's side. Let God be on your side. Mm -hmm. so, so here in Philippians 4 and 6, it says that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind. In other words, faith in Jesus Christ. Faith, the just must live by faith. Right. The faith that you have in Jesus Christ will produce something for your heart 
and for your mind, it'll keep your heart from evil, and mm -hmm. it'll keep your mind contented where you won't have to be worried about stuff. God is the only way that you're going to ever be content. Uh, uh, we find in the Bible, the Bible tells us from Genesis to Revelation that there was discontentment with man in a perfect world. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say in a perfect world. Well. I'm going to bring love to say in a perfect world. But in a perfect world, Eve was not satisfied. Mm -hmm. She was not satisfied. Why? She started listening to the snake. Mm -hmm. She started, listen, when you leave God, see, the secret to being content is to stay with God. That's it. That's it. When she, when she decided that she was going to listen to somebody else, that's when discontentment came in. And they disobeyed God. Mm -hmm. uh, in Genesis, again, we find that Adam, uh, that, excuse me, that Cain and Abel, Cain was discontented because he did not give God what he was supposed to give him, and Abel gave it to him. He mad with Abel for doing what God said do. But then when he found out God wouldn't accept his offering, then he was discontented and killed his brother. Discontentment causes trouble. We are discontented. You look, you, 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 you look at uh, uh, King Saul. He was discontented. He tried to kill David 21 times. Mm -hmm. 21 times he tried to kill him. Why? Because the Spirit of God had left him. See, when you're not with God, you're discontent. You're discontent. And so Saul tried to kill him because God was not with him. The common denominator uh, is Jesus Christ. The common denominator. Each of those people that did wrong was because they were away from God. But when a man is with God, he is content. Hallelujah. When a man is with yeah, God, he is content. David said, the Lord is yeah. my shepherd. In other words, God is with me and he's watching over me. And I shall not walk. You, you, you content it when, when you, what is, what is contentment? You're contented when you got enough. <laughs> when you got enough. See, God is enough. What, what, yeah, God is enough. Hallelujah. That's the secret. God is enough. Yeah. You, 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 you. Oh, come on, praise God, somebody. That is worth every penny right there. God is enough. Our God is enough. You will continue without God. You are never satisfied. Hallelujah. You can take all the drugs you want, but tomorrow you're gonna need some more drugs. Hallelujah. You can drink all the whiskey, and tomorrow you're gonna need some more whiskey. When you wake up from your Hangover, you gonna you gonna get drunk again Come because on. you couldn't get high enough. You can't have enough sex. Hallelujah, you can't. I hear because a little while later you're gonna want it again. But that ain't gonna keep you. Discontentment is with those who are without God. But God brings us to a place where we are at peace, where our hearts and our minds are contented, and we don't have to. Go out searching for nothing. Mm -hmm. when, when, when mm -hmm. you, and, and we gotta be, we gotta be careful about the enemy talking to us, because the enemy will come take you back on a journey, mm -hmm. back on a journey where you used to be, and you weren't happy there. Mm -hmm. Come on, you can talk about the ones and least all you want. Uh, <laughs> you weren't happy in Egypt. Mm -mm. Come on, tell somebody you weren't happy in Egypt. You weren't right? happy in Egypt. You were in other words, you weren't happy in your bondage. Come on, preacher. When, before God brought you out of the world and saved you, you weren't happy. Come on, try to fool somebody like you was happy. Oh, I had cut his sock. I don't care how many socks you had. But you were not you weren't happy because you woke up with a headache, because you were sorry you went and stayed out that late. You, you were sorry about so many things. But now God has brought you on the other side. The enemy want to try to act like you was having a party. There wasn't no party. I used to go to the club, but I didn't like it even then. Come on now. I was sitting in there half mad. All that smoke was in my nose. <laughs> Folks aggravated me. I didn't even know. But when I came to Christ, 
when God brought me out, that's where contentment is. Yes. The Bible says contentment with godliness. See, so you gotta have you gotta have some God in there. Right. You, you, you gotta have some God in there. You can't just get content without God. Contentment with godliness is great gain. I got all I want. I got all I want in God. Because I, because the Lord provides for me. You don't know, and you weren't there. You don't know what the Lord does for me. I'm telling you, God brought me from a mighty long way. He brought me from a mighty long way. Oh, glory to God. It don't, it don't take much to praise the Lord. My God, Philippians 4 and 8 says, it requires some thinking. If you, if you, when you thought about, when you, it, it, it says, Philippians 4, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true. Come on. Whatsoever things are honest, mm -hmm. and whatsoever things are just, mm -hmm. and whatsoever things are few, you're talking about God. Whatsoever things are few, whatsoever things are lovely, you're talking about God. Come on now. And whatsoever things are of a good report, God always gives us a good report. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. We got a good report for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, think on these things. If you walk around thinking about evil stuff, how can you worship God? That's true. When your heart's full of evil, come on. How can you worship a holy God? And that's why you're not contented. Men are not content because they don't have God. The world is the most aggravated you've ever seen. It. Facebook can sell a fire. Woo. Have you ever seen so many people that's on the edge about everything? All you gotta do is say one thing on Facebook and everybody jump right on it. Come on now. Before you know the forest fire done started. Because they're not contented. Somebody wants some trouble. You ever seen a person that was always walking around looking mad? They, 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 were, they were angry at everybody. Why? Because they're not contented with God. They don't have God in their life. They're murmuring, they're complaining, they're mad, they're cussing, they, 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 they're bitter. And how can they worship a holy God? That's why you see a lot of times the people don't come to church. Because they're upset. Somebody gave me a church hurt. Somebody at the church tripped me up. They stepped on my foot. Got my pocket space. Come on now, little stuff. It's nothing that matters. All the stuff that, you, let, let me tell you something. Be contented with where you are. Go on, say that. Be contented. Be contented. With where you are. With where you are. And with your God. And with your yeah. God. I was, I was in a dream. It was a dream, I think. It may have been a vision. But last week, God took me into a place, and it looked like where it was almost a white light like that, but it was clear. And everything there was so peaceful. Everything there, there was no there was no feeling of harm, no feeling of injustice, there was no feeling of nothing going wrong. It was just in the presence of God. It was just in the presence of God, and it was so strong that it made tears come to my eyes. I'm dreaming, and, and, but it, it, it's, it's, it tears come to my eyes. Because of the presence of Almighty God, oh. I was content with where I was. Contentment is with God. Yeah. I was given to go back and look where I used to live and to the places where I used to go. It's not the same. I was in the bathroom this morning, Pastor Al, 
uh, and I come out, I went in the office, and I was sitting there studying this, and the Spirit said, Brooksville ain't what it used to be no more. Right. It's not what it used to be to you. When you, when you were there, and, and, and it was something, it was different. But you can go to all the old places that had fun for you, and that was joyous days, but it's not there anymore. You go to your old neighborhood, Brother Johnny, it's not what it used to be no more. The old people that you that you knew is not there anymore. Everything is changing but God. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have contentment with God. Because God, there was a song that said everything must change. And nothing and no one goes done. Change. God has not changed. But you are. You can go to the old places you used to go, or you can drink the old stuff you used to drink, but it's not the same anymore. It's different now. You are different. That's it. You are a new creation, and you wonder why you don't fit no more into the world system. It's because you have been changed. Thank you, Lord. You are a new creature in our old creation. And God want to let you know, don't try to go back to where you used to be because it ain't the same. Paul said, I've learned to be content in whatever state that I'm in. Why? Because everywhere I go, something bad happened there. I've been shipwrecked. I've been beat. I've been stoned. Mm -hmm. I've been left for dead. Mm -hmm. I've been in perils in the sea, perils in the wilderness, perils in, the, uh, in with my own countrymen, the perils with robbers. I've been through all of this stuff. And he said, I've learned. I have suffered so that I've learned that whatever state that I'm in to be there with content. Jesus. Jesus himself. In the days of his flesh, he, 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 he went, to the, went to God in prayer and strong supplication and strong crying. In that he feared, the Lord heard him, and he prayed that death would not take him. Take this cup from me. He was not talking oh, about take man. this cup that I don't ever have to die because he came to die. Right. But what he was saying, don't let death kill me before I get to the cross. Mm -hmm. I want to do your will, Father. Yeah, yeah. Keep me in your will. Let that what God wants us to know, that we got to stay in God's will. Come on, praise God. You got to stay in God's will. You got to stay with God. And Jesus, the Bible says, even though he was a son, he learned by the things that he suffered. Right. You're going to go through something, but keep on moving. Yeah. That's it. Keep on doing what God said do. Keep on praying. Yeah. Keep on fasting. Hallelujah. Keep on loving. Yeah. Keep on giving and forgiving. Mm -hmm. Our God is a great God. Come on, praise God. Yeah. We are almost finished. Yeah. Folks, I've been through some bad things in my day. But through all of it, the one part that stood out was when uh, about him being content. When the when Satan sent that messenger to buffet him, he said, I prayed about that thing three times. Thrice. And that God would remove it from me. But he said, God said, my grace is sufficient. Hallelujah. In other words, this that you're going through, Paul, I have allowed it. My grace is sufficient for you. And Paul said, he found, he said that my strength is made perfect in weakness. You, you, you got some weak, all of us got weaknesses. All of us got weaknesses. And that which we can't overcome, God can. 
because his strength is made perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. God has a God has entrusted us with a trial. You ever been entrusted with a trial? God has entrusted us sometimes with a sickness, sometimes uh, uh, going through troubles, and sometimes with family members. God has entrusted us. I look at Leticia and I say, God has entrusted the first lady and me with 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 praying for her and with believing that He can bring her out. And and he brought her from death door. And now she's over at our door and she can get ready to get, up and get to her door. Yay! Yay! Hallelujah! Yay! Why? Because you won't come to me because you Yay. can't do it. Yes, sir. Moses told God, I'm not able to have all this. That's wonderful. Glory. Lord have mercy Jesus. Lord. My Lord. Paul said, yeah, now I'm contented. And whatever state I'm in. Yeah. Why? He said, because I've learned that as long as I'm going through, that the that the power of God rests upon me. That's it. Come on, preacher. Man, the power that God has placed in us. Hallelujah. We can be contented. That's why I say I ain't mad with nobody. You don't know. You weren't there. Come on now. You don't know where uh, and you don't know where. Uh, uh. What the Lord has done for me. Uh, and you don't know what the Lord has done for me. Well, you don't know and you weren't there. You don't know. Amen. Come on, give God praise. We finish.